this is my universal vacuum plate that I made to go on my UHMW vacuum fixture. It covers over the one hole. This hole is exposed. That's why I have a valve here. So I don't have to use that hole. It has one hole in the fixture here to go throughout the grid. And you can put a gasket wherever you want. What I'm going to do is make a uh, stackable, some stackable uh, aluminum plates to go on here for uh, custom parts. By the way, I did not make a video of this uh, thick aluminum plate, but I will make a video of what I'm doing now with these uh, stackable plates. So what I did was I've got three plates about the same size that I've already milled out. This one I kind of dished out on the bottom side so that it would fit into the um, fit into the grooves here and kind of nest in there and uh, with the gasket around here when I turn the vacuum on it sucks that plate down so you, you can't move it and I'm reading about 27 uh, HD on the vacuum gauge so it holds it pretty good So what the idea is, and I got this idea from a from another YouTube video uh, from a website. I think it's called Nimi Slider Pod, where they have some stackable plates. And I'm not sure exactly how how the mechanism works. I'm going to try to, to devise my own. Um, one will be uh, somehow bolted to this, and it can can turn. And then you'll have a screw hole in each corner to mount another plate that is the actual custom plate. And so it will basically sit on there just like that and then the custom plate would be attached to that for whatever you want to mill. So before I get started, I think I'm going to sand these down where I surfaced them. You can see the, the lines there. And you can barely feel it, but I want to run it across some sandpaper just to make it smooth. <coughs> Similar to what I did on this one. Okay, I've got all three plates kind of lapped smooth. This one I left unlapped on the one side. That's going to be the top side, which will be milled down further for the custom uh, part. This is the base lapped around the edge there and the surface here. So these two will be going together like this. And then this one will mount on like that. So I just have to try to figure out what's the best way to do that. I think I figured out how I want to do this. I'm going to recess. This is a uh, two times the size drawing of these plates, of the uh, bottom plate and the plate that pivots on it. I'm going to dish out 
the bottom here and have a three-quarter hole through it. Same thing with the plate that mounts to it. Have a three-quarter hole through it and dish it out. And then I'll make a, a uh, I guess you call it a pin with a head on it that would slide through the hole and into the second one and then make like a cap and have two screws through this cap into that pin that will sandwich it and hold it together and to create the seal uh, around around this hole on the bottom side for the cap I'll put a groove around there for the uh, for the gasket material and the same thing under the head of this pin do the same thing there and if I can't do that because I'm going to make this pin on the lathe, lathe if I can't do it on the lathe then I can always cut the groove into here so we'll see how that goes but before I do that I need to drill a hole up through here and for the screw hole on each corner and into this so I'm going to place these on the uh, vacuum fixture and spot the holes. I've got a little program written to mark the four corners where these holes go and then I can drill those on the drill press. I kind of goofed a while ago when I drilled this uh, hole through here so I could use that as a centering point. Well, when I did that, I lost my suction through that hole, so I had to put a little piece of foam over top of that hole to spot these uh, corner holes. So I have to do the same thing on this one. Now, this one doesn't have a lip to fit in there, so I'm going to have to. Uh, square it up with a square and then uh, relocate the center. Now for these holes we're going to drill it uh, number 21 drill which is a size for the uh, 1032 tap and we're not going to drill all the way through uh, as far as we can without poking through. Well, I made another goof up. I drilled the, uh, I drilled this one with the through holes, which I wasn't supposed to. It wasn't supposed to have any holes, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything. This one that was sanded on both sides was supposed to have the through hole, and this one here was supposed to have the tapped hole. So I went ahead and sanded it and lapped it on both on the other side also so I'll drill the through hole through this one and be screwed to that one 
and then this one will be attached to this one with the pivot. So we'll see how it goes. In order to be able to machine the uh, recesses in here, particularly the hole going through here, I need to make a special uh, vacuum plate to go between this and this plate here, or I'll lose suction when it, with the hole in the center. I was going to use a piece of uh, MDF and make a uh, groove for a gasket and then a groove around the perimeter to seal it and have it on there like that and have some holes come up for the suction but with the MDF I'm afraid I'll lose too much suction and it may not hold it for all the machining so I think I'll use this piece of uh, I guess it's a uh, some type of uh, Lexan or plexiglass it's what I use to make the uh, dust uh, just uh, hood for the uh, router uh, so I think I'll use this and uh, make this special plate Not bad. I'm going to make a center hole here just a little ways down just as a centering point for the other parts. Um, knuckle drill all the way through. I am going to drill all the way through with this eighth inch bit for the uh, suction to come through. Thank <laughs> you. 